What's up, everybody? My name is Juan Pasolita from Mexico City. These are the highlights, the recap, the most amazing and crazy things of Davos Day 4. Check it out. This has led uh, humankind to declare a war to nature, and nature is striking back in a very violent way. The multinationals have been able to avoid taxation, in part because they have brought to tax avoidance the same ingenuity that they brought to producing products that people like. If we're not valuing care, and care is often done for free in the home, then it doesn't get measured. We got nature striking back, as you can see, we got economy in the 2020, and why you shouldn't marry a babysitter. Yes, that is the topic here today at Davos. Let's roll. This has led uh, humankind to declare a war to nature, and nature is striking back, uh, and striking back in a very violent way. We need to be able to shift taxation from income to carbon, uh, which has a win-win uh, situation. We need to cut subsidies to fossil fuels. I must say that as a taxpayer, I can't really accept the idea that my taxes are used to boost hurricanes or to bleach corals or to melt glaciers. And climate change has been the top agenda here with Greta Thunberg as one of the key participants. She held a climate strike this morning here in Davos. As long as the science and is being ignored as long as the facts are not being taken into account and as long as the situation is not being treated as a crisis then the world and business leaders can of course continue to ignore the situation the price paid for a plastic bag or a plastic bottle does not reflect the true cost to society of what you're purchasing uh, and, and so, in, in so many ways, we are seeing the aggressive monetizing of the global commons. Uh, cheap, destructive, extractive, exploitive business models. The multinationals have been able to avoid taxation, in part because they have brought to tax avoidance the same ingenuity that they brought to uh, 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 producing products that people like. And finally, we had some interesting advice from a famous economist this morning. What underlies GDP is what we value. So if we're not valuing care, and care is often done for free in the home, then you know it doesn't get measured, and that's a huge problem. In fact, if you marry your babysitter, GDP goes down. So don't do it. Because, you know, a, a service that was being paid for around care all of a sudden maybe is still being done simply not being paid for. And those are just some of the key moments from the last day of Davos 2020. Thanks for joining us on the Davos Daily this week. And remember, you can stay up to date all year round on the forum's agenda website.